हेलो आई शशिभूषण तिवारी वेलकम यू वंस अगेन इन टुडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अ प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन चैप्टर बेस्ड ऑन एलआर सर्किट बेसिकली एलआर सर्किट विथ डीसी सोर्स द क्वेश्चन इज अ बिट कॉन्सेप्चुअल बट इट इज नॉट वेरी टफ एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू गिव इट ए जेन्यून ट्राई before you actually run away from the question <laughs> right let us have a look at today's question uh, the question says that this is a constant current source this source supplies a fixed constant current i not that's all this is a pure inductor having inductance l this is a pure resistor having resistance r this is a switch that is closed that is closed at let us say time t is equal to 0 and the question says find heat dissipated in this resistance after the switch has been closed find the total heat dissipated in this resistance after this switch is closed give it a try here i proceed with my solution the moment you close this switch current in this inductor will start increasing originally the current is zero just after the switch has been closed switch has been closed at time t is equal to 0 what is current through this inductor at time t is equal to 0.0000000000000001 second zero the current is zero what is current here obviously if the current here is zero then current here is i not the total current the whole current is passing like this the moment you close this switch this is the situation but what can you say about rate of change of current over here the current is zero right now at time t is equal to 0 plus when i say time t is equal to 0 plus it is time immediately after this switch is closed the current here is i not current here is zero but the rate of change of current here is not zero the potential difference here is definitely r into i not the same potential difference must be seen here because they are in parallel so in this path if i represent current by i instantaneous value of current is zero but di by dt is not zero the potential difference here is l di by dt right there is emf induced in the inductor and numerically magnitude wise it should be equal to r i not so the current is zero but rate of change of current is not zero immediately after you close the switch so current begins to increase here because this is a constant current source this current is fixed at i not when the current begins to increase here the current will start decreasing here can you see that if the current begins to increase here the current in this resistance must start decreasing right so current starts decreasing here current goes on increasing here till the current attains a value i not in this path when the current becomes i not here the current will become zero here So that's why the question says, find the heat dissipated in R. Find the heat dissipated in R. That means uh, there is a fixed amount of heat that will get dissipated in this resistance. Current starts from I not and goes to zero. So once the current here is I not, there is no current here. Right? The current becomes steady here, means there is no EMF here. there is no potential difference here there is no current here so everything falls in line actually everything appears to be right uh in order to calculate the total heat dissipated in this resistance uh i don't know how many of you have studied that during charging of a capacitor 50% of work done by a cell 
is dissipated as heat. 50% gets stored in capacitor in form of electric field energy. When in a series LR circuit, when the current is growing, uh, the amount of energy stored in the inductor finally is half L I naught square. By the time current reaches I naught, have you ever calculated how much heat is dissipated in the resistance? Why I talked about capacitor, why I am talking about inductor, please do that calculation, you will realize why I talked about it and you will get a good result to know actually. So this is L, this is R, this is time T after this switch has been closed. The current here is I naught, let us say current here is I. If the current here is I, then current here is I naught minus I. Right. Now, this potential difference, which is R times I naught minus I, must be equal to L di by dt. The current through the inductor is growing, so di by dt is a positive number. EMF induced here will have a polarity like this. I assume all of you know this. So L di by dt will be equal to this much. Look, look at this equation a bit carefully before I do the mathematics. Let me put it like this. Can you see that this is a constant? This is a constant quantity. So isn't the equation exactly similar to the equation that you get in this case? Ah, this is a regular battery. You press the switch on, you connect it to this battery. No. At time t, if the current is I, what equation do you write? Have you ever written this equation? You have just memorized the formula. Okay, I am assuming you have written that. So, L di by dt plus Ri is equal to V, that is a constant. L di by dt plus Ri is a constant. It is the same equation here. In place of EMF of battery, uh, you are getting this Ri naught. So obviously solution will be similar. If you take note of this, then you can immediately write how the current is changing with time. You can immediately write how the current is changing with time. Otherwise you just uh, need to separate the variables and do the integration. So if you do all that, what you get is I is equal to I naught 1 minus E to the power minus T by L and it will be RT by L. This is the equation that you are going to get because it is very much the same equation. And yes, the interesting thing is this V is actually R into I naught, where I naught is the final current, isn't it? Uh, in this case, actually, the current starts from I naught and goes to zero. But if you do the integration, you will get the same relation, do it. So now you know how the current is changing with time here. So how is the current changing with time in this resistance? Uh, for simplicity, let me write it as I1. So I1 will be I0 minus I. I0 minus I is I e raised to the power RT by L. So now you can easily calculate the heat dissipated in this resistance by I1 square R, this is the power dissipated in this resistance, heat dissipated per unit time into dt. There is heat dissipated in time dt, you integrate this from 0 to infinity and prove yourself that the answer is half L I naught square. I leave this as a task for all of you to do, please do it. Thank you. Goodbye.